wanted to go through some uh, some an understanding for you. That way you can see what the different communication, how the different communication works. Uh, the three particular types that you're going to run across out there is going to be AS2, FTP, and a VAN EDI mailbox. Okay, so what we want to look at when we're thinking of AS2, AS2 is probably going to be your best method, um, least costly, and has the best security that's involved with it. Uh, when we're looking at this diagram here, and I put these simple diagrams together just to give you a, an understanding of the flow. You have a, a supplier, which would be you. You have your reta retailer, which would be Amazon, Walmart, Bed Bath Beyond, any of them, okay? You then have communication points using AS2 in which data is pushed from one entity to another entity or what they call peer-to-peer -peer. and it's done where the data that's being pushed is actually encrypted using a certificate. So if anybody ever says to you AS2, now you know it's peer-to-peer -peer, or between two companies, two businesses, two entities of pushing data where the data is encrypted using a certificate or decrypted so that you can read it from a certificate. So when you push EDI to the retailer, it's encrypted. The retailer will then respond with a what's called an MDN, which basically says that the data has been dropped off successfully. Not that it's been translated, not that it's been processed, just that the data has been dropped off appropriately. So that connection has been made. So then the retailer is gonna push data to you using AS2 in an encrypted format by the certificate. You're gonna decrypt the data. You're also gonna send back the MDM. And then when you process, you can send back a 997, so on and so forth. So that's AS2. So that's peer to peer. Now, if we look at, and you got to remember with AS2, the other piece to that is the data is being stored. So the retailer is expecting you to store the data on your side. Usually it's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Uh, most of the times we recommend at least 180 days that data is stored. So six months worth of data inside of your system. So one thing you want to make sure of, can your system store the data, whether it's on the file system, into a database, whatever it's going to be. Uh, so AS2, pushing data back and forth, peer to peer. Um, it's a live push. FTP. FTP is you are the supplier. They're the retailer. They're usually going to host an FTP server. So if you think of it this way, they're basically giving you access to log in to their FTP server and download the EDI data or log in and upload the EDI data to the FTP server. Some FTP time, FTP servers, shall I say, you have to actually delete the files after a successful download. Um, after it's uploaded, now again, you're going to have to have a data repository on your side. Now, this is usually handled in a scheduled basis where you're scheduling the system to go out to the FTP server and download at a certain time or period of times throughout the day or upload to the FTP server. So download the purchase orders, upload the invoices, download the 997s, upload 856s. Um, however you look at it, you're still going to be saving the data on your side. So again, these two you can handle free after your implementation because there's no data charges for you pushing AS2 data or for you pushing FTP if you have a licensed software that you purchased, so on and so forth. Now, the last example is we have a van. For a van, think of that. It's called, VAN stands for Value Added Network. 
So think of that as an entity that sits in between you and your retailer. So this van, you can communicate with a van using AS2 or FTP. So I just simply put in download, upload, download, upload for FTP. Um, same thing on the other retailer side. But just know you can do AS2 or FTP with most vans that are out there or EDI mailboxes that are out there. A lot of the times you want to try to stay away from this in the fact of it's going to have a cost. So there's going to be a cost to having a van in between because that van is now storing data. They're handling what are called interconnects. So that's an interconnect is a connection between a supplier and a retailer or between two different entities or an interconnect is also can be referred to between two different vans. If you have your associated van and the retailer has their associated van or EDI mailboxes, which could be two different companies, you are going to do an interconnect. So it's going to interconnect between two different van services. Things get really complex when you have uh, vans. There's another break point there. There's all of those things. So usually my recommendation is to go either AS2, FTP, where your retailer is hosting and handling the FTP server, you're handling the FTP client. If you have to, the last choice would be the actual van. Um, reason being is from a cost perspective and most systems, you should have a data repository um, so that you don't need to have a van hosting and holding that data for you for a time of period.